Good afternoon, Lace Chop, and I'm John. This is many a truder. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Well, last time we successfully completed our mission, heading out into the waste, gathering some blood, and we met some very exciting people too. A sexy witch who I was rather fond of, and a slightly dumb Templar who I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm convinced to buy just yet. But, 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 the mission is complete. And that means it's time for me to become a Grey Warden. And more importantly, I want my cocking dog back, Duncan. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Okay, so we could do that, though. Also, yes, Morrigan and her mother, witches living free out in the wilds, though presumably you wouldn't really care about that. Like, we know from earlier, he mentioned that all of the uh, Grey Wardens were here who were in... Ferelden, these guys are an extra national organization. They don't care about uh, nation states or borders. There are Grey Wardens uh, everywhere in all the different countries uh, dotted about. So presumably they don't care about the whole mages versus Templar thing. They don't care about some witches uh, living out in the Chasint Waste. Presumably none of that bloody business. There was a woman at the tower and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... Odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Okay, Alistair's still got a bit of the old uh, Templar thinking going on in his head there, so something to keep an eye on. So, the ritual. Yes, let's go. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. Okay, so yes, this would explain the uh, secrecy to date. If only such secrecy were unnecessary and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair. Take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I mean, Jory's got a point. Okay, we're here now. Nothing to be done. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder whether we might be going towards a Grey Wardens actually the bad guys twist at some point. Because uh, can't help but notice that uh, everyone we've run into so far seems to have been lured here after being exploited, manipulated, blackmailed. There's been hints that this is what Duncan does goes around picking up people when they're in a bad way and they end up not really having too much of a choice. They don't even know what they're being volunteered for and then all this nonsense starts happening. So, yeah, not a hundred percent sure about this Duncan lads. Though, I will say, Daveth, I'm liking you more for what you're saying right now, buddy. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Though yes indeed, we know from speaking to the, uh, the Ash Warriors, they've got to be careful with their dogs and muzzle them because if a dog bites a demon, and ends up with just a little bit of blood going down its throat, then that dog ends up dead, and it's not a good way to die. So, okay. Um, this doesn't sound like necessarily a good idea, actually. 
Though I'm guessing nobody's backing out now. Since the beginning, the Grey Wardens have been charged with finding those who were strong enough to attempt the joining and recruiting them into our ranks for the good of all. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Child, had there I known. Is no turning back. No, you ask too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint. For the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Oh, that'll be him. Demut, Dumat, whatever his name was, the guy in the Kodak. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Yeah, did you really need to kill Jory? He seemed like he was a bit of a nice chap. Jory was warned that there was no turning back, as were you all. When he went for his blade, however, he left me no choice. It brought me no pleasure to end his life. The Blight demands sacrifices from us all. Thankfully, you stand here as proof. They are not all made in vain. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. I feel like I should actually tell you about my vision though, because I think I might have just seen the Archdemon, and that's kind of a big deal, because the King was saying earlier, we haven't seen the Archdemon yet, well I've just seen something that's in line with the Archdemon in the Codex, so uh, that might have actually been a bit important. Yes, let's talk about the shock. Death is never easy to accept, especially when it arrives in such a brutal fashion. Honor your comrades if you wish, but know that we must press forward. Always we must press forward. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Okay, we had a bit of a uh, half answer from Duncan there. He said he was given no choice because Jory went for his sword, which means, uh, yeah, what would have happened if Jory hadn't gone for the sword? If he just said, you know what, I'm out, bye, and uh, walked away. Now that, that I don't know. Although more importantly, we've got Tabby back. Oh my goodness, who's a good boy? 
Oh, and I've leveled up too. Presumably that was the end of a mission. So, okay. Level 5, uh, what are we going to do? Well, I tell you what, I am using more and more uh, abilities as time goes by. So, let's get willpower up just a little bit. And maybe a tiny bit more dexterity too. Marvellous. And two talent points. So, hang on, did I... Did I forget to spend a talent point last time or... No! It'll be like Knights of the Old Republic. Some levels you just get to. I tell you what, let's do a bit of archery. Haven't really been doing too much of that so far. So, okay. I can fire even if I'm being attacked in melee. So I can turn this on and it's just a sustained thing. And thereafter, yes. Lowers the rate of fire. More attack, more damage, more armor penetration, more crit chance. So the overall DPS is superior. Still, nothing more here by the looks of it, so, okay, down to the War Council. Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the lady from High Ever I met earlier? I understand congratulations are in order. I wouldn't say congratulations, to be honest, and yeah, um, I think my first instinct on uh, Loghain might have been correct. I get the feeling he's uh, most definitely ready to betray his king and something, 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 because, uh, yeah, well, it makes sense. We know Loghain was literally there with Marek fighting off the uh, Orlesians. Uh, presumably, the current king was too young to remember, yeah, how bad it was, and also... Uh, I can't see Loghain's ears that clearly, but is it possible he's an elf? Because we know it was particularly bad for the elves when the Orlesian showed up, so that might be uh, part of it as well. So, okay, you know what? I like this king. Bit of an idiot when it comes to trusting too much in the Grey Wardens, but he's willing to, you know, let history be history and work together with the other nations to defeat the Blight. Now that, that's good. Loghain, I think, is about to screw everything up, dear, oh, flippin' dear. And, uh, yes, indeed. I'm gonna be honest, didn't really have too much of a choice. This whole thing might be a bit of a racket run by Duncan. I suppose none of us do. But every Grey Warden is needed. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Caelan. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signalling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Okay, I get the feeling I'm walking into a conspiracy here, because uh, if Loghain's men are supposed to be providing the signal that, you know, the king needs to be saved, uh, I get the feeling Loghain's not going to be giving that signal, so... Uh, okay, that seems reasonable to be honest. I'll do my best, not going to question my king. Right now, I'm on his side. Not least as he did promise to help me get, you know, high ever back, which also makes me double think he's not surviving the nights. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logate. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Major. trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough. This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Caelan. 
glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Okay, I know where the tower is. It was right by where I actually uh, entered in the first place. There was a guard who mentioned it to me in passing. So, okay, know where we're going, know what we need to do, and presumably, now we've killed those two idiots, I can have my dog back full time, so, ah, oh, life is bloody good. Okay, step one, now that Loghain's gone, check his tent. There might well be a note. You know, something nice and incriminating. Like, wah ha 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 I can't wait to turn evil and betray my king. And, gosh darn it, not allowed inside. Ah, what I am allowed to do, however, is level up Alistair. So, okay, buddy. You are, oh dear. He's a Templar and we can't change that. Dear, oh cocking dear. Well, I tell you what, we know what his role is. He is now the only warrior, aside from my dog, who's also kind of a warrior. So... I want him on the front line providing cover for me. So I'm just going to give him a giant pile of constitution. Ah, but one thing that is rather useful. So, okay, his specialization gives him access to special like talents that other warriors won't have. As a Templar, he actually is really effective at murdering mages. He can drain their mana. Got it. Oh, this is perfect. He's got a special threatening stance. That means he draws the aggro. And that's what I want. This is perfect. He just keeps attention on him. Meaning I can stay behind the enemy and stab them in the back. Yeah. Also, can I just keep him in threaten mode permanently? Because I see no reason I'd ever not want him to be the center of attention. So, okay. We'll just uh, leave him on that. And we'll see if that just stays in play. The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here.
Let's cross the bridge and get to the Tower of Ishal. Okay, I'm guessing, by the way, that was significantly more, uh, yes, uh, Darkspawn than anyone was expecting. I get the feeling it wasn't supposed to be that many. So, uh, I mean, these guys have done all right, though. They just get to hang out up here, just, you know, firing in no danger whatsoever. This here, this is a cushy job. Also, I can't help but notice, um, all the archers seem to be dressed the same as Alistar. Because I found this silly Skyrim hat. And it gave it to him because, you know what, he's the one who needs the armor and whatnot. So now all the archers are wearing it too, so... Okay, that's that's fascinating. Okay, I took Alistair's hat off and they're still wearing their hats. So, okay, maybe just a really odd coincidence. You, your Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Okay, so maybe not low gains betrayal, unless of course, okay. I wouldn't bet against him deliberately unearthing some... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Who the cock are you? Oh, bloody hell, mate, you don't even have a name. I don't fancy your chances. Well, while he's here, apparently he's an alchemist too, so... Okay, I can use those mushrooms I've been picking up to make some Mabari crunch. Good for my puppy, and also good at, yes, sorting out any dog injuries. So, uh, all right, while you're here, buddy, we'll have as many of them as we can uh, have. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, go on. We'll have some uh, health too, then again, John. I think we're swimming in health, but whatever. He can do a whole bunch of stuff. Probably the most interesting is, uh, yes, Flame Blast seems to be area, so he can do damage to multiple people. But way more excitingly, he can just have, uh, as a sustained thing... Yeah, make all our weapons flamey. I'm gonna be honest, yeah, let's have that on permanently, I love it. Though yes, the cost of having sustained abilities is uh, you've got less stamina or mana going forward. So, okay, this is all... He set my cocky dog on fire! The dog's on fire! Because the dog himself... Okay, I'm not 100% convinced by the fact you've just set my dog on fire, but okay, sure, whatever. Right, and we got a few more showing up here, so, you know, oh. Okay, could someone else deal with this? Because, like, the entire point is, okay, they, they're coming for... Could somebody... They seriously know I'm the protagonist, don't they? Right, get round the back over here, and uh, now shoot them in the back. Screw you, that is... Wow, that is really slow. And also, it's only doing a tiny bit more damage, like 16 versus... Okay, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, because... Uh, that is a hugely, hugely dumb amounts of slow. Oh, hang on. Sorry, we've got another alpha here. I was just sort of playing around with my abilities. But we might need to take things a bit more seriously. Because, yeah, especially when Alistair's already on the ground. Right, dog. Uh, you need to do a nice dread howl. See if you can do anything, uh, yeah, down the bottom there. I need this guy taken care of. John, might be time to go back over to actual weapons by the cocking hell run. Okay, so I'm taking a fair whack of damage here, actually. Okay, dog, 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 I need you to do your cocking job, please. Run. Okay, this is fine. All we need to do is toss some dirt in his eyes. Let's stagger him. Okay, he's staggered. Kick him in the balls. Go. Kick to the balls. Go for a big slash. Now just finish him off. And go. Okay, one alpha taken care of. I can seriously dish out the damage when I need to. But I suspect Alistair's going to need a bit of healing at this point. Alistair, are you okay, mate? Yep, currently got a broken bone. Though, to be honest, he doesn't really use his dexterity for much. So, you know what? We'll save the kit. We don't really need it. But yeah, key thing to uh, keep an eye on right there. I need to be... Very sure I know, one, where people are, and two, who's actually in trouble. Because if people are in trouble, I need to be using health kits. Meaning it's taken me three episodes, but I finally actually attached, yes, health kits to everybody's shortcut menu. Marvelous. Also, I should point out, by the way, yes, I am now in uh, uncharted territory. This is further than I got in the game when I did the live stream. So uh, from now on, no cooking clue what's about to happen. Aside from the fact, yes, that's, um, uh, that's a big old tower I need to climb. And it's a proper dungeon, so I can't see what's what. Okay, we're exploring as we go. Still, looks to me like we have got ourselves, uh, yes, trouble. Definitely got... No, I see you. Okay, um, who can deal with that? No, that was... 
Cocking hopeless. Right, just walk straight into the trap. The dog's just gone straight ahead, though. That's good. Dog's just doing his thing right now. I am slow. There we go. My slow poisons are worn off. Right, I'm going over here, actually. I'm going to toss a bit of dirt in your eye, buddy. Then we're just going to start stabbing. No, John. Get around the back of him, then start doing that. There we go. That's going to do some good work. And now I'm going to easily win against you. Kick him in the balls. Do a big double slash, because why not? I've got the archers under control over here. And yeah, basically, I'm just pulling them out of archer mode, because outside of archer mode, they're not at their best. And then I've been... Oh! Okay, never mind. Seriously, watch your health bar. Uh-oh! Um... I want to try this again, actually. Right, definitely watch the health bar. That thing I just said, do that. Alistair, my old mate, you, buddy, have got an ability for just this situation, don't you? Yes, shield cover. So, okay, can deflect missile attacks. Well, I'd say we're going to be needing you to do that, yes. Okay, I've got a dumb plan, which is I happen to be Captain Stealth. So is there any chance that I could just, you know, wander around here, get behind the emissary, and cocking stab it up the arse before there's any more trouble? And... Okay, I don't know how to deal with that trap, but it seems to be A-OK. -okay. I've just been hit by... Oh, it's grease! It was a grease trap. Got it. No one's shooting at me yet. This is, this is good news. I'm just going to... No, I've been detected! Never mind! Run, run! Back, 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 back. Okay, back into cover. Can they shoot through pillars? I don't know, but... Hang on, this is this is good news. Hang on. Fall back. Several of them are now coming to me. This is actually... This is excellently good news. They're now coming over here. Now everybody... Charge! Everybody can now just go! Just flip and do it, alright? Just get over here. We can now take out a couple of them immediately. Dirt in the eye, round the back of him. I was already round the back of him, you stupid loser. Now we just start stabbing him. There's one of her locked down immediately. There's another one right here too. My mage is up front. This is actually good news. And now, okay, here we go. This is, oh, he's trying to run. He's trying to run. Okay, finish off this one. Let's just get everybody forward as fast as possible. And now I'm being shot and I don't want to be shot. Alistair, you should be the one up front here. I need you in... You're already in shield cover. Okay, I want you getting over to this lad as fast as possible. I'm being shot, so I'm going to do a health potion right now. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm just going to start moving forward. They're just going to move over here. I'm taking a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Uh, just, yeah, get over here and just kick him in the balls. Tabby is now going after... Okay, the emissary is now taking damage. This is good. You are trying to cast weakness... I would prefer you, if you can, to attack, yeah, the archers. Let the frontliners deal with the emissary, and we'll take care of all the rest of this. So, in just a second, that's a good bit of damage. Dirt in the eye. Go. He's stunned. Now, around the back of him. Start getting up the arse, and that's going to do a lot of damage. By the time he turns around, he's going to be half dead. This is excellently good news. What else have we got? How's the dog doing? The dog is doing okay. The emissary is not enjoying being in engaged combat. And over here, you're taking good work. No, turn your attention over to here if you can. I'm taking a bit of damage, but I am willing to accept it then again, actually. I think Alistair's got this. The dog should now turn back over to here and do... Actually, just a basic attack will be fine. Just a basic attack is a okay You, buddy, start shield pummeling that guy. Okay, what have I got? Nothing at the moment, but this guy has got to be in a fair whack of trouble. If I can get some healing going on. Yes, healing. And now, there we go. Doing some good work. How are we doing on? Kicking the balls. Just get his defense down. There is stuff coming in. I'm taking a lot of damage. This is not where I should be. Keep spamming the health. And he goes down. Now we go over to here. Get that guy up the arse. The dog takes care of him. And there we go. Okay, bloody hell. That, that took a bit of strategizing. But my stealth plan, it didn't work in the way I was intending it to work, but it did work. Make his breath. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Ah, now that is a good point. There's no reason for them to attack the tower at all. The tower's not useful in any meaningful way. It's just an old ruin. The only reason it has any use at all is uh, Logain decided to use it in his plan. 
if they decided to attack this place, then they might know the plan. Now that's a scary thought. They couldn't know about the plan. How? They're not that smart, are they? At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyrone Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Oh, I get the feeling he isn't actually, but okay. Oh, I'm also seeing something a bit interesting. I'm seeing Ballista I can engage with and... Okay, John. This here, this is your moment. It's time to go invisible, walk up to that Ballista, and cocking use it. Okay, go, 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 and... Did, did that do anything? I'm, I'm not sure that did anything. And go! It did surprisingly little, but I guess it did something. And they seem surprisingly, you know, not concerned about that whole business. Can we use it again? Can we just use it over and over? And it just cocky missed. And we can just use it over and over again, but it doesn't... Does it cocky hit anything? Cocky useless. Okay. This could be a good thing for the mage too. Oh, that guy doesn't even mind the fact he's being shot over and over again by a ballista. The world's flimsiest ballista, it must be cocking sake, because he's still not cocking dead. Okay, keep going. One day, he's going to die on account of being repeatedly shot by a ballista, right? Oh, I think it happened. Cocking, finally. Okay, so we've taken out somebody. I see some uh, herlocks over there, and I see a couple of grandlocks, including presumably archers at the rear. Anything else? Not as far as I see. Okay, fall back. Regroup. That was a good starting point, I see. Having taken out a single baby goblin. Alright, Alistair, this one's on you. So get over here and hit these bastards right over there. My frontliners are now in a good position. John can start just getting involved in all this nonsense. You can just start kicking people in the balls, up the arse, all the rest of it. That herlock's going to be no trouble whatsoever. We take out this guy and then we rush the archers. And okay, this is now going much better. And also, hang on, guys. Big swing. Oh, 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 oh. oh, now that. That was badass. Okay, now that was a good use of the big old swing. Right, okay. Starting to get the hang of it now. Okay, pup pup, how about a bit more health for you? Because you are also dog tanking right now. Also, I forgot to put that amulet they gave me on. Apparently, it was actually good. Like, bonus constitution. That's actually quite nice. So, okay. Okay, second floor done. Up to the third. No gain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. Oh, Logan ain't doing anything, mate. All right, I wasn't sure about him before, but as soon as he turned to camera, gave a sly wink and said, yes, it will be a glorious day for me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he ain't coming. And I'll give him, it's a well-executed plan. He sends a couple of nobodies he doesn't care about up to the tower in order to light the signal. Then he deliberately engineers it so that, you know, the dark spawn sees the tower. His men get slaughtered. He doesn't care, but he's got the perfect excuse. Well, I didn't know I was supposed to come in. The signal wasn't sent, sir. The fact that we're lighting the signal is screwing up his plan. Okay, brand new room, but we've also got ourselves... Uh, Ooh, a lever that would release some hounds. So, okay. I think you know what we're doing. You guys just getting over here. Mage, just go where you want. John, you're going for the lever because you're the cocky, super fast rogue and whatnot. So, here we go. And activate. Boom. We have got hounds on our side. Cock and love it. And now, just stab him in the back. I don't care about any of this nonsense. Just toss some dirt in his eye. Kick him in the balls. Do a double chop on you. And oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be the alpha or you cocking wop, mate. I've got a dog eating you right now. You know what? I'm just going to leave the uh, the dog to it. Because the dog's a temporary companion. So we should definitely let him take the uh, lion's share of the damage. And oh dear. Right, the alpha just got cocky eaten. Love it. And I can't deny, I'm starting to feel I might want to uh, invest in lockpicking a bit more. Because I keep walking past some really nice looking sexy chests and I just can't get them open anymore. Still, get ready for trouble. Top floor. If there's a boss, we're about to meet him. Right, 
So, um, speak of the devil, literally, we've got a big lad to take care of. Okay, just everybody, don't panic. It's just him. Do we know what he is? He's an ogre. Got it. Alistair, you're up cooking first. And if you can, stun him. Alright, the safest thing to do is just not let him attack. When there's only one character on the field, even if he's really strong, if we can just keep him stunned, he can't attack us. That's got to be plan A right there. Okay, magic boy, hit him with some weakness. Alright, you can just, yeah, lower his attack and his defense. Dong, get over to him and, yes, penalty to defense. Because we're already trying to knock him down and weaken him and whatnot. Save the dog growl for later. And John, get up the back of him, then start tossing dirt in his eyes. So, uh, here we go. We're going to do this. And uh, he's going for... He's going for a boulder hurl. That's a concern. Right, the dog is damaged, but not too bad. Get up the back. Alistair, you should, because you're using... You're still using Threaten, right? Please tell me you're still using Threaten. Uh, yes, he's still got Threaten on. You should... Uh, Hopefully, therefore, be, yes, drawing the aggro. So just keep attacking him over and over. Now, we also just want to... Actually, I don't know how far you can stack, like, reductions to defense. Is it just like, you know, a he's got a reduction, so stacking is pointless? Or can you stack multiple reductions? Who knows? Let's try tossing dirt in his eye. And he has been stunned. And did you just take one damage? Did I just see one cocking damage? Okay, kick him in the balls. He's still got balls. Um, now just keep going, basically. And dog, I need you. I think my dog was stunned by all the rest of that. So get over there. Hit him with the dread howl. See what you can do. You're going into arcane bolt, but you've only got so much magic, buddy. So can you paralyze him? Try and paralyze him if you can. All right, so everybody just do your own thing. And oh, blimey. I mean, we're doing something. He's taking a bit of damage, and now he's always not turning towards Alistair anymore. Alistair, your one job was to keep his attention on you. Bloody cocking useless. Right, just keep attacking. I think he's turning towards uh, the mage. The mage doesn't appear to be doing uh, that much, and he's running low on magic too. So uh, hit him with... Uh, okay, weakness. Is weakness available? Go for weakness again. Alistair, just... Get back on him and start attacking. I need his attention on you. He's going for a cocking mage. Okay, go. At this point, we're actually doing a fair whack of damage to him. And do the big double slice, because why not? It's just bonus damage. He's down to about half health. You need to do a bit of healing. Anybody who's looking weak, just heal up, quite frankly. Just heal up and then keep going. And your abilities are shield cover is useless right now. None of that is going to help me in the slightest. I don't feel good about my mage. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I feel like he's about to be... Oh, cock me. Right, well, he's dead. Uh, that's that's fine. Okay. Uh, that's okay. He was almost out of mana anyway, so it's not really a problem. But he's, he's not getting up again. Okay. Everybody should just do... A potion. Okay, I want everybody doing a potion, if you'd be so kind. Everybody just get up, heal up. Anytime you cock it ready, lads. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, okay. Now, get over here. Start doing some more damage. Stun him. He's stunned, but I'm not sure it lasts for long. Okay, now we're just getting some damage in. That's a massive attack. The dog's been knocked back. Alistair is in a bit of trouble. Alistair, just, just heal. Okay, everybody just heal for a second. Dog, do your own business. You just keep drawing the attention. If I could just keep stabbing him in the back, that's going to keep doing good work. And I think he just kicked me. I just got cocky horse kicked. Okay, just get back over there. Kick him in the balls. Massive attack again. Alistair, can you even take a massive attack right now? Because I'm not sure you can. Uh, okay, but Alistair is drawing the aggro. He's doing his job. Damn it, this is what's supposed to happen. And another big attack, it must be said. Get over there. Big dual weapon sweep. He is looking weak. Me and the dog might be able to do this. Alistair, just... Your one job is survive. Just live, basically. And keep shield pummeling. Everybody, just do your business. Stab him in the back and go. Ten. And... Oh, we've lost our bonus fire. Of course we have. Alistair's down. Uh-oh. 
Okay, um, it might be up to the dog. <laughs> might be entirely up to the dog at this point. Um, he is stunned temporarily. I have... Uh, oh, I've got no stamina. The dog's got stamina. I'm not sure it counts for anything. Uh, I've got nothing. Just stab him. Stab him. And... I'm going to say that was the victory of the dog, all right? I might go in for the big jump and stab and whatever. I feel like that was the dog's victory, not mine. Still, we've got him. That's nice. Okay, what have we got on you, buddy? So, special shield with defense, spell resistance, chance to avoid missile attacks. Kind of okay, to be honest. Together with a precious stone and a slightly better rune. Still don't know how to use those, though. Still, I will say, we did our job there. Alistair did his job, which is just to stand there like a big dumb meathead and take a beating. And I did my job, which is to stab people in the back and or balls. So, okay, let's go figure out just how much of a traitor Logan is. Sound the retreat. Oh, what about the king? Should we not... Do as I command. Okay, bit of a downer ending, shorter game than I was expecting, but still, I enjoyed it. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Okay, so this is a turn up for the box. I've been rescued by a sexy boob window witch and taken back to her bedroom and she's undressed me. I mean, great, this is a massive step up from Alistar. You were injured and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? Okay, there's something more to it than that for some reason. She's not telling me uh, the truth. Yes, how on earth could you possibly have rescued me? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Okay, but what about the dog? Honestly, that's way more important to me than Alistair. And also, there was a mage with us. He didn't have a name, but still he was bloody useful. And yes, I'm guessing Duncan's gone the way of Nihilus and bitten the bullet out on the fields. All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. 
He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Okay, so this is... This is intriguing, and... Uh, yes, I feel like my injuries were pretty severe. Like, I was shot. And I kind of get the feeling I died. Though in a Bioware game, generally, that's just a mild inconvenience. Oh yeah, I just got the achievement Last of the Warden, so okay, it's just, um, nothing but me and Alistair. Got it. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You? You're alive? <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm pretty confident I was, but the witch brought me back for some reason. Okay, more importantly, the dog's okay. Bloody hell, why didn't someone just tell me that in the first place? That's way more important to me, so... Okay, and... Uh, yes, indeed. Gonna be honest, I almost certainly would have died had it not been for the actions of, you know, magic users, not constrained by the Templar. Oh, would you look at that, Alistar? Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother... We'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? I mean, she's not wrong. I'm on 100% on independent badass barbarian boob witch sides right now. Like, 120%. So, any chance you're willing to answer some questions as to why you chose to save two Grey Wardens? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Okay. You say that, but yeah, all the Grey Wardens I've spoken to so far seem pretty confident about the fact they know how to kill an Archdemon. So, any chance you're willing to help, by the way? Because you've been pretty useful so far. Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and darkspawn. Well, whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the darkspawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Okay, so we've maybe got an ally there. Good, 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 good. And also, when we say you think the Owl would believe us over the turn, um, I might be a turn, actually. We're not 100% sure, because Fergus unaccounted for, but, like... I am basically really, really cocking important, so I feel like that's got to count for something, right? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Okay, so that would make him Marek's brother? Presumably so, so... Okay, 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 okay. Good idea, and yes, treaties. Actually, those might be useful. Could I use them to make allies? See, there is a smart lass. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Okay, I think we've got ourselves a main point of the game here. Go to various places, though I'm guessing, yeah, some people might decide to rule lawyer this a little bit, saying, oh no, this isn't a true blight, so therefore it's not valid. You need to save my daughter from the Tower of Flibbly Gibbets, and until you've done that, no, I shall not honor my ancient something, something, something. 
The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> oh, now this. This I can deal with. Yes, 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 yes. Sexy goth boob window witch girlfriends. Yep, that'll do just cocky great. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Hang on, when you say repayment, I feel like we owe you something, given you saved us, yet you're also handing over your daughter to our service, which... Okay, not sure how that works, but whatever, sure, we'll take it. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. My good lady, I give you my solemn word. If we are heading towards uh, some form of a uh, Caden versus Ashley scenario where somebody has to live uh, and somebody has to die out of uh, Meathead Templar versus uh, Sexy Boob Window Witch, I'm saving the witch, all right? Your daughter is so safe. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Okay, no, this is good. You sound cocky and useful. So, yep, you just speak your mind. Go right ahead. Ha <laughs> ha, you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I want to take her along because she's got cocking magic powers, you stupid meathead bastards! Okay, there we cocking go. Brand new team in play. Got my dog, got Morrigan, got Alistair tragically. But, uh, alright, and... Ooh. Okay, we're starting to build reputation here, apparently. Hadn't even noticed this down here, but okay, there is a like versus doesn't like meter. And my dog starts off with it pretty much maxed. Okay, well that's just lovely. Here we go, Morrigan is a mage and a shapeshifter. Okay, she can turn into monsters. You can just have some more constitution, because your job is to be on the front line and be a big stupid meter damage tank. And he finally gets to pick up a skill, so okay. I'm guessing it works again like Knights of the Old Republic, where certain classes get loads of skills and warriors don't get so many. Tell you what, buddy. As you're supposed to be on the front line, how about we give you just a little bit of survival so you can spot bad things nearby? And this'll do. If we want him just tanking damage, let's make him tank some damage. A new sustained ability, shield defense. So uh, he'll do less damage, but he can tank more efficiently. Gotcha. And with Morrigan on board, and oh, bloody cocking hell, you've got a lot of abilities. So, okay, hang on, let's just make sure we understand what you can do. Okay, interesting. She seems to be mainly about support. I mean, okay, she's got Winter's Grasp, which can actually, you know, freeze people, solids, etc. But she's also about, uh, yes, disorientating enemies, so knackering their attack and defense. Meanwhile, vulnerability, making them more vulnerable to, uh, yes, cold, which is very useful because she can make every single weapon be nice and chilly. Now, that was useful, so we should definitely be uh, considering that, which is lovely. Then there is horror, so damage to spirit. Does that mean mana? I don't know what spirit damage is. We'll need to look into that. 
together with. Yep, she can stun people with Mind Blast, but a basic damage in the form of uh, lightning and freezing and whatnot. But most importantly, she can turn into a cocky spider. So we're just going to be doing that right now, actually. And... Okay, Morrigan's now just a spider. I feel like she should just kind of do this when Alice is not looking and then just go up to him and go, Boo! I'm a giant spider! Yeah, screw you! I'm a spider now! Okay, I feel like Morrigan would be enjoying this. I feel like Alistair should be freaking out more than he is doing. But, uh, what can you do, eh? Okay, so now I'm a spider. And when I'm a spider, I've got all sorts of different abilities. So, I can turn back into not a spider. I can uh, spit some poison. So, uh, natural damage uh, over time. And, okay, maybe spirit damage is just a type of damage affecting what enemy resistances the enemy does or doesn't have. That might be reasonable, yes. Or a big web, so immobilizing. I tell you what, that's pretty good. Can she attack in this fall, by the way? Because this is, this is brilliant. I love it. But I guess for now, we'll turn her back into a booby witch. Dear oh flipping dear. Oh, and John leveled up too. Sorry, completely missed that. Okay, even more dexterity for you, my dear. And yes, indeed, I'm just taking speech higher and higher. May as well max that out as fast as possible. And though it might be a bit of a waste, I'm taking at least one rank of, uh, yes, deft hands. Now I can do some more stealing. So, we have built a team, and now it's time to start the game proper by the sounds of it. So, join me next time as we get into the adventures of our beautiful, sexy new spider witch and, oh, I cannot cocking wait. Hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd and this has been Dragon Age Origins. Thank you very much and goodbye. If we just hide the bodies, nobody needs to know about this. Yes, my stupid, stupid plan has worked. It turns out I'm a genius. The giant rat scorpion is not gone. Oh, hang on. There's, there's more yet though. I'm still being very shocked. Guys, where's the NCR? Nobody needs to know.